morning class. How are you today? Good. Good. What happened during no breakfast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought because the light on, all of you are very sleepy, right? Yeah. Okay, session, huh? Okay, can we have the lights on? Thank you. Okay, can we have the lights on? Thank you. Now, before we start the class, okay, let me get all of your attendance. Miss Anne, can you do the honors? Okay. Get all of the attendance. Okay. Now. So, all of you had a very good weekend? Yes. What happened to all of you? Did you all have a very good weekend? Yes. Very good, very good. Yes, sir. Very good, very good. All here. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Miss Anne. All right, just uh, recapping uh, for last week's uh, topic. Huh? Uh, you were under Mr. John's class last week because I couldn't attend. I was having a health problem, very sick, still, you know, I have a cough and everything. But anyway, you were uh, thought about the pre tour, on tour, and post tour, right? Yes. Am I right? Yes. yes. Yes, thank you. Right, so on the uh, pre tour, you guys are uh, all okay? Yes. Uh, today, see, we're still on the same topic tour operations management. Right? So they have front office, they have back end and everything to operations management, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do now today, we are going to discuss about a topic of post tour. After the tour ends, at the end of the day, there is one important element. One important element. Do you know what is that? Correct. The dangerous one. Dangerous one. Feedback form. Do you guys know why we need the feedback form? To improve ourselves. Right? Anybody else? Sir, maybe, the, maybe the tourists might give some new ideas. That yes. is exactly. Yeah. John, anything from you? Why we need the feedback form? Maybe to also uh, delay another service provider that can give better service. Delay another service provider? Go on, my business. Uh, <laughs> complain. Ah, yeah, that's good. That's a dangerous one. That's a dangerous one. A higher level complaint. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, okay, so I will see, I've already given you some idea of what is the previous topic. So I'm going to divide this class into three different groups. So this is group one, group two, and group three. Okay? Now, what I want you guys to do is that discuss among yourself, come up with five Questions that can be included into a feedback form. Alright, guys? Alright, tell us me since you're already away, so you'll be the team captain. Uh, Mr. Christian? Alright, and Sir John? Right. Sir John, can I have your attention? Sure. Can you discuss with the team and then uh, come up with the five questions for the feedback form? Can I just take something with you? Yeah, sure. So, I'll give you about 10 minutes for you to discuss among yourself, okay? To so come up with best 5 questions that you will put inside your feedback form. Now later on, once we get the answers from you guys, I will go through the exactly the methods that you need to use to come up with the questions. So the questions in the feedback form must not offend the guest and also must not damage the company as well. Okay? And based on that feedback form only we can improve and bring out the best. Okay guys? Okay, please go ahead now. I give you 10 minutes come up with the best five questions. You can discuss among yourself, huh? you can come out with five questions. Okay, there are some sample questions I've already put on the screen now for you guys uh, to see. This is going to give you some ideas. Uh. Okay, so basically on the first part you can see there, alright? How satisfied are you with the purchase you made of a product or service? How satisfied are you with the service you received? 
how significant are you with our company overall? These are the things you know. Okay, so please, uh, you can use that as your reference and you can come up with a question. Do you have any time? No, I, I, okay. I, I like that participate as well. Okay, very good. Vishal? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, one more. One more, one more. Everybody must come up with five questions. The idea overall is to for you to understand the importance of the feedback form. Okay? So every company or every agent when they're last on the tour, they will give this kind of feedback form to the guest or even sometimes to the tour leaders. Because they can't hand over to all the guests sometimes, so they will randomly choose. Okay, but usually in the feedback form, the customers will not write anything. Okay, so sir, a general feedback, then uh, they will have commentaries and everything. So I'll give you a sample of the <coughs> feedback form as well. So you will know exactly how a uh, feedback form is generated and the purpose of the objective of the outcome of this uh, exercise is to actually better understand the guest requirement and also for you to understand how to improve your services at the end of the day. Do First group, then? Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask you to exchange the papers. Okay, right, and do you think that? Okay, group one, group two, group three, you all have your own son. Okay, second question, can you start with yours first? Uh, what are the questions you prepared on the UTP so, 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 no, no, this is Bihar's one, so you need to read Okay, the other group has mentioned uh, bus drivers should wear proper attire. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, at, at this point in time, a lot of emphasis given on the tourist guide how we should dress up. Okay. For the drivers, sometimes can be t shirt, and not tea, right. yeah. and uh, jeans, slippers, and all this stuff. You know. Very good question. Food. Uh, the other group has mentioned we just put their food. I don't know what food because when it comes to food, we have had plenty of food in Malaysia. Yeah. The objective of asking this uh, food question, I think, is because sometimes you might have a group or person in the group who eat Jain food, a total vegetarian. That's why the food is special needs, special, uh, needs, special needs requirement. And another important thing that I raised about the tourist guys attitude. Yes, very important. Because I think they have come across the attitude of certain tourist guys. Just giving a lot of credit. Some credit. Not only on the industry, but also on the travel. Then the hotel accommodation, they ask for hotel accommodation. Okay, hotel accommodation is quite subjective because it's all about value for money. If you pay a better rate, then you get a five star hotel. But they go on a budget. We could pay for that, but sometimes we put that question, you know why? Whether the hotel provider is being sufficient for the facilities. Thank you. And of course, there's another very important that point safety. Very important safety. Jerusalem, can you read the other group, sir? For the point, you cannot read. So, you cannot read. For the handwriting, 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 you cannot read. Then the pharmacist is not the medicine, Marty. Can you read? 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 Can you I feel that the hotel selected can be, can be better located close to shopping and entertainment areas. Okay. Yeah, because the hotel is located two kilometers away. So at night after shopping, it's convenient to walk back. Huh? And this is the feedback. 
Besides the shopping mall, so that they can go in and out. That is not necessary because you must understand. Safety also is important thing. Okay? And not necessarily all the hotels are going to be built beside the shopping mall. If they are built beside the shopping mall, it's going to be a bit expensive. What is their budget that's coming here? So, and also uh, you have to understand one question they asked to us. Why we can you know, leave the hotel at 6 o'clock and then only 9 o'clock only we come back? So this question is legitimate question, but you must understand they are not on vacation. They are on tour. Vacation, anytime they can go out, anytime they can come in, no tour guide, free AC for them. But tour, you have timing. You have time, sir. Okay, you have, this is a slot for you. Okay, your lunch slot, your dinner slot. Okay, so your tea time slot and many places you have to cover. So these are the questions you should avoid inside the uh, your feedback form. Okay, so as I said, loyalty questions are very important. Okay, and all this overall depends on the company. Okay, what kind of product they are producing and the front place. Who are them? Two types. Okay, and service providers. It's very, very important that they actually sit, you know, discuss with the uh, medical company and agent and execute the whole of the tour. Only then you can get good feedbacks. Okay? Even if you get a bad feedback, you should not take it wrong. Bad feedbacks or less, uh, what do you call, uh, Positive feedbacks is for your improvement. Okay, so any questions from you guys now? Yes. Usually, uh, <coughs> does the company, upon receiving of this feedback, uh, give a, is required to give a response to the, the, yeah. the people who write the feedback? But if there is no Usually, you see, okay, what you say is correct. So if it's it depends on two situations, right? usually what they do is that they don't uh, require the customer's details 
because they want a random and anonymous feedback. Sometimes the, the test field what is like, oh, if I'm going to write something, they're going to be something on the next tour, or they're going to do something. But certain agents, they prefer the customer's details so that they can reply them back. Yeah. Okay, there's two ways of looking at it. I want to share my experience. Sure, please do. Go ahead. I this is the time. I was staying in this Renaissance Hotel here many years ago. Okay. Early morning, 8 o'clock, somebody banged it off. Mini bar service. They want to check what I consume. But I'm not even uh, checking out. Okay. I mean, I was staying for two nights, so I put that on the feedback for The GM group, they replied to me. Right. Thank you for the feedback. You know why? They were based on the room number. Yeah. yeah. They, they replied to me. Ah, yes. This is good. This, this hotel service providers is very good uh, feedback for this one. Yes, sir. I've got another problem. It's more psychological. No, uh, we are doing with the tourist guy. He has been with us for three, four days. We have been talking like friends. Then you give me a feedback form. Now, I as a human, I cannot put something there. It is quite adverse to him. Now, I become a bit very hypocritical. Throughout the donation, I was buddy buddy with it. But before I want to go back, I just put some nasty things there. It happens. But, but if, it, <laughs> See, if it's true, then, I mean, you should have, I think we have to look at it as mature people. La. Give constructive criticism but for them to improve. Just say ABC. But you I okay, follow, I just take the call of the Enjoy group. his company five days. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I'm sorry because if I want to have any kind of misunderstanding, I'll be. He will screw up my, I mean, he will uh, screw up my club. But then your name is not there. So that's why we give the feedback home at the end of the day, not during the tour. So that you don't screw up anything in the middle. Okay? okay? Any other questions you have? Anything you want to ask? No. Anything you want to add in? Is there a feedback? Yeah. But I think sometimes feedback form is useless because when the company never takes any action. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Sad to say, la, some, some companies, they, you know, there are people like that, there are companies like that because they. This is just a preliminary, uh, what I say, uh, how do I put it in such a way, um, for the sake of doing it, okay? But actually, if the company is very serious about the services, whatever they're providing, they must look at the feedback form. It is very, very important because if you don't take care of your guests, the guests will never return back to you. So how what will happen to your business? You will lose guests and you will lose business, correct? So this is the important thing. Some companies, they don't provide this feedback form. I don't know why, but you know, they feel that they have uh, already in one particular zone of service, you know, one particular group. They are into this all, uh, for example, only, uh, I will do, do only Arab group. Or I will only do Bangladeshi group. Niche market. Niche market. So I don't have to have a feedback form because like it or not, they will just come back to me. That is it. So they are like that. But in order for you to provide the best service, you need to look at the feedback. That is why tour management is very important to you to look into and study. And that's how you will categorize yourself. Whether you're going to be on the top or you will be at the bottom. It's very important. Okay, guys? All right. So, any other feedback? Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think uh, we have a program here uh, uh, which is going to be rolled out very soon uh, that will provide uh, quality assurance to uh, some of the establishment. Okay. And uh, this is the initiative of the Ministry of uh, Culture and, and, and uh, Tourism Culture. Okay. It's called FYTQA. Okay. Right? Malaysia Tourism Quality Assurance. FYTQA. And uh, each uh, of the uh, destination of the product, uh, FYTQA. Right? And uh, it's, it's, it's going to roll out the right? Uh, pilot project is done in uh, county okay. and uh, after which they were given a symbol and uh, when the symbol is recorded that means uh, it is uh, must visit destination in the country. So they have many criteria to fulfill, like something like a generic uh, criteria for 168 people, right? And specific criteria depending on what type of product. Very good information and you guys need to uh, adhere to them. Please, if you have the time, if they have any conference or any seminars, please attend it. This is very, very important because you are our future uh, <coughs> providers. So you need to know this if you want to be on top of everything. You must be on the top of it. Okay, guys. So, uh, recapping back, feedback form is a post work kind of thing. And thank you very much for attending today's class. I hope to see you all next week.
we have another yet interesting topic for you all. All right. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Thank you.